All right. Good morning, everyone. Oh, goodness. We are streaming into the end of April. April. And uh, for most of this month, we've been talking about really, you know, your communication style. Last week, lots of great conversation around Zoom, camera on, camera off, being visible, all those sorts of things. Um, and today, in, in our final one for this month, and of, of course, for this theme, um, we want to talk about asking for what you need. We've got lots of conversations going on, um, great leaders, poor leaders. Uh, and so I think, you know, when we come back to this piece around core confidence, really owning your own experience, both um, in career and life, this ability to kind of go, hey, you know what? Um, I need a little bit more leadership. I need a little bit more information. Uh, give, ask for what you need rather than kind of sitting around and, and um, getting frustrated that you're not getting what you need. Yeah, this is such an interesting one because, you know, we all look to others for cues about, you know, what's the right thing to do? What can I do? What can't I do? Where am I allowed to do things? Where am I not allowed to do things? And a lot of that just takes up headspace and time and energy. And actually, if we just get centered and present for a moment, there's a really cool piece of yourself that actually knows what it is you're looking for and what you need. And when you get clear about that, then you can think about, well, how am I going to communicate that? How am I going to reach out? Who am I going to ask? Am I going to need to, uh, you know, build a bit of a, you know, um, group of us who, who are all looking for something together? But being conscious around what you need and what are you going to be your steps to get that is a really important part of ensuring you're confident, but also actually building your confidence in the process. Yeah, I think there's a few pieces here. Uh, you know, as a leader, not everyone needs the same level of connection and information and everyone has, you know, different personal circumstances. You know, what we've seen is such, um, you know, so many different experiences for everyone in, in every, um, you know, we've all been, had different days and different experiences. So it's not that, you know, today I'm great and tomorrow, you know, I, I've got, you know, uncertainties, all those sorts of things. You know, it does change for people but I think this piece around you know no broad brush approach that um, some people will need specific things uh, and and to really I guess be be aware of that as a leader um, but also probably more importantly that each individual really um, seeks out answers to questions I think the kicker here is thinking about what's a really good question it's the articulation it's the phrasing um, you know, you want to be careful you don't lead a huge group kind of um, uprising. And so uh, it can be useful to kind of bounce some things off up here just to kind of see what they know. But um, I think certainly, and we heard, um, actually it was, I was watching the New South Wales Premier this morning, just talking about, you know, communication. Communication at this time is super important. That's why we see, um, you know, eight o'clock every, here in New South Wales, eight o'clock every weekday morning, um, Gladys is there with, uh, you know, doing an update, the medical office is there doing an update and, and various other speakers come as well. Um, but there's consistency of information. And you know what, some days there's really nothing to share, uh, but they still show up, they still uh, reinforce the same message they shared yesterday uh, and take any questions. So I think there's a piece around consistency, but really thinking about, you know, what is it, is it that I need? If there's a question mark around job security, um, if you're not getting information around, you know, where things sit with restructures, um, cut in hours, all of those sorts of things, think about what's the question you can ask to get the information that you need. Uh, and, and really, you know, leaning into that and having a good conversation with your leader. Um, because I think, you know, we've seen it, or if, if it's team communication, then, you know, be proactive, speak to your leader and say, hey, you know what? It'd be really good for the team. We haven't talked as a team for a while. Can we just jump online and do a Zoom? I'm happy to arrange it. I'm happy to lead it and facilitate it if, if that's of interest. But is that something we can do? So really, I guess, you know, the theme that we've been talking about, right? Stepping into leadership for yourself, stepping into leadership for others. Yeah, and the more that you can just get comfortable with trying something new, like you don't have to be perfect at this. You don't have to get it absolutely right. I think we've got a lot of forgiveness at the moment. We know the tech doesn't always work. We know things aren't always going to run to plan. And it's a lovely moment to really go, hey, you know, um, we could do with this. We could try this. How about if we just have a, you know, before we start that meeting, what if we just did 15 minutes of just kind of checking in on how people are going? How are they actually managing the dynamics in their household? Hold and you know are they actually feeling as though they're on top of things or is there anything they feel they need and just giving people a little bit of space and time and you know as Kate's saying this 
questioning of ourselves of, you know, where could I step in and help or, or support my leader and actually say, actually, I'll take that on or I'll be prepared to give that a bit of a go, um, knowing that, you know, it doesn't have to be 100%. You know, if you give it a go, other people will more than meet you halfway. And I think that's part of, um, you know, really sharing this moment with each other and, uh, and being able to try new things. You know, it is, we've got a lot of permission to do things differently than we might otherwise do. Yeah, I'm reminded of a call earlier in the week. Um, we were doing group coaching for my Accelerate group. Um, and it was one of uh, my clients who was just saying, you know, to start with when we're on this Zoom thing, um, really uncomfortable with the camera and all of those sorts of things, which said, I'm so grateful that, um, that I've, I've had experience with it because it's just gotten so easy. And she said, so now um, when, you know, when this all started, I was the one leading going, you know what, guys, camera on, let's do this. Don't care what you're wearing, um, you know, as long as it's clothes. Uh, but, you know, I don't care where you are, what you look like, all those sorts of things. And she, and she really led that because she'd had some time to get used to it. So I think, of course, some of this stuff feels uncomfortable, awkward, weird even um, to start with, particularly if, you know, maybe it is a question you've got to ask about job security and job certainty. And, you know, I think there's a there's a softening that you can say, which is, you know what, if you, um, if you don't know, if you're not sure, if, if you don't have the information right now, that's okay. Um, I just appreciate knowing where things at, knowing when we will have information. I think that's the other piece around um, if there is no decisions. I know um, in some businesses, um, they haven't kind of got to that point yet. They're still waiting to see what things look like and what sort of timeframes um, uh, and, and how relative governments are responding. Uh, and so it might be, you know what, actually, exactly what we see uh, in federal politics, right, is, um, <laughs> it was this morning, they're considering uh, professional sport on Friday night at the Cabinet. So that same kind of, we know that there's a conversation coming and there'll be information after that. Same thing, um, if you can find out when conversations will be happening, it might not be for another month, but um, really just, if you can get some certainty around what information will be available and when, um, then that is useful. So I just think really thinking in and, and seeking um, what it is that you need it might be different to someone else that's okay it's an act of confidence to ask yeah definitely this getting more comfortable with asking and leaning into that even when as Kate says you may not have the certainty you may not get the answer you want now but just the act of doing that will put it on the agenda or make it open it will make it something that's up for discussion and that means you've shifted things a little bit and you've got a little bit more of what you want. And that's really what we're encouraging here today is get curious and clear about what you want and then be prepared to have the conversation and speak up and ask. Cool. So guys, we're going to leave it there. I uh, look forward to next week. Our theme for May is all around harnessing your four intelligences. Um, so super excited to be sharing more of that great stuff with you then. Take care. <laughs>